Good evening, I'm Glenn Mills. Emily Flores has the night off. Thanks so much for joining us. We begin tonight with good news for the Great Salt Lake. Water levels up and we haven't even seen peak runoff just yet. ABC4 meteorologist Nate Larson tracking the very latest tonight. He's live from the lake with the details. Nate. That's right, Glenn. It's been a banner year for the Great Salt Lake with all the water that we have received. In fact, just from all the precipitation, not even spring runoff yet, we were already up two feet uh, from where we were when we hit our record low in the fall. In fact, the gauge reading today, 4,191 feet above sea level. That puts us exactly where we were this time last year. Now, the reading, it's a little skewed, and the reason is, is the recent causeway modification is impacting some of the water level readings, and here's why. The completion of the causeway breach modification in February has, at least for now, created two separate lakes. We um, have stopped the flows from the south to north, from the south arm to the north arm, and that's allowed the lake level to rise uh, perhaps more rapidly in the south arm than it would have if it had to um, also dissipate into the north arm. The executive order signed by the governor to raise the causeway four feet. And while it cut off the north arm, it's helped save the Great Salt Lake ecosystem. When we have salinity ranges or salinity percentages that are too high, then the brine shrimp and brine flies aren't able to uh, reproduce and won't be able to thrive and provide the food source for the birds. The salinity levels have dropped from 158 grams per liter versus 185 grams per liter in the fall. Even with the recent rise in the lake levels, professors at Utah State University say that more can be done to ensure water reaches the Great Salt Lake through water shepherding. It's, it's making sure that water moves through the distribution system where it's supposed to be. And so with Great Salt Lake, it means that as people make have change applications to deliver water to Great Salt Lake, it's making that it's making sure that the water goes through the distribution system and reaches Great Salt Lake. They say water shepherding could be improved by adding more gauges in different watersheds to the distribution system. More measurement, particularly in places where we have some gaps right now. Filling in the gaps could ensure that conserved water meant for the Great Salt Lake doesn't end up being absorbed by other downstream users. That's what, you know, like right now, if you're high up in the Bear River and somebody says, I want to deliver one acre foot of water to Great Salt Lake, that would be really hard because because we we just can't measure those smaller volumes of water very easily. And so that's where more more measurement would really help. All right, yeah, the Great Salt Lake doing well so far this year, but of course it is still very low. In fact, uh, in a given spring runoff season with a good snowpack, it rises about two feet. Uh, so we are expecting at least another two foot rise in the uh, Great Salt Lake water levels throughout the rest of the season, maybe more. But again, that would still be about 10 feet from when it was peak full back in 1990. Live at the Great Salt Lake, I'm Nate Larson. Back to you.